All right, guys, it is literally 4.51 a.m. And <sighs> I haven't really been able to sleep a lot, but I just wanted to share something kind of funny. <laughs> well, maybe not funny, but it's just... You know, it's not a big deal to me, at least. So, I posted um, an unpopular, <laughs> unpopular opinions video. And it was about, you know, just political things. And I've lost, like, what was, what did I say? And the craziest thing, too, is I didn't even say, like, I support either political party i just said like i was just questioning i was like well how kamala harris got on the ballot was not democratic essentially because a public vote wasn't taken it was like she was just replaced by the dnc or they put her to replace biden by the dnc and a lot of like no one's a lot of people weren't questioning that. So I'm just going to assume the mo people unsubscribing are probably Kamala Harris supporters. Um, and something I realized too. Um, I mean, obviously politics are very divisive with, for some people, you know. Me, personally, I don't care whether someone's Republican or Democrat. I don't hate someone for being Republican or Democrat. But there are people who, and in my opinion, don't hate me for this. I guess this is another unpopular opinion. I think it's more divisive on the liberal side and Democratic side. Like, I personally have heard more... Democrats talk about how much they hate Republicans than I've heard from Republicans. But maybe I'm just not around enough Republicans to know that. But I really feel like I've seen more hate coming from the Democratic side, in my opinion. And I think a big reason for that, too, is because... Like, when I was more, I guess, liberal-leaning, um, they, it's, like, definitely propaganda to, like, they just make, want to make you feel like every Republican is evil and conservatives are evil and, you know, it's, like, extremely divisive and emotionally manipulative, the like things that the democratic party comes out with and says and i think you know if you are be believe all of those things and you know if you just support anything that the democratic party says or does it pretty much will lead you to like hating republicans because they're going to be like well conservatives are just racist and conservatives don't care about people and they're just like all these inhumane things and I feel like it's very easy for someone who is you know like being fed all of these propaganda and emotional manipulative things um to like just blindly kind of hate the other side because you're being told that they basically are just evil people and I feel like that was something is something that I see mostly from Democrats personally um from what I've seen I mean most of the Republicans or conservatives that I've listened to they maybe don't they don't agree with you know the liberal thing but they've never been like oh I hate anyone who's a liberal or like I can never be friends with or follow someone who's like that like you see what I'm saying it's like there's a little bit more like okay you don't like I don't you don't have to agree with me but I don't hate you as a person whereas it seems like a lot of liberals 
have a very like they have zero tolerance for us anyone who's conservative and they kind of just have this belief system that them being a liberal makes them like a better person and that's like I said and the craziest thing too in the video I stated like I'm not not I'm not a democrat and I'm not or am I a republican like I don't really consider myself either part um align myself with either political party and that still angered people <laughs> I just stated an opinion but you know it's okay like I've always said people don't have to agree with me and if someone wants to unfollow me because of my opinions like they're entitled to do so obviously like you can't force someone to like you I just think it's um funny that that's the video that I lost well I'm not gonna say it was a lot I mean it was like 12 people from what I could tell I mean I lose subscribers and gain subscribers constantly and I don't necessarily like like first of all I'm not gonna change like my opinion based off of the people who follow me like I personally like I said I'm not for or against any person based off of their political beliefs beliefs so I'm like I follow people I don't agree with and like the reason I support them or don't support them is not based off of their political views but if that's the basis that you are using to decide whether or not you like someone or want to support them I mean that's fine that's that's up to each person to that's for that person to decide I just think it's very um like I said it just is very um I see it as being like very like you just have no tolerance for people who don't agree with you and what does that say that like you can only follow people or support people who share your same opinion like you're very closed-minded or that's very that makes you a very closed-minded person right because like if you only want people around you who share your same beliefs you're not really being challenged you're not really um growing or like I don't know like I said I personally just don't base base my um like or support of someone around their political views but again that maybe comes from like I don't see s political views being like a moral thing I'm not I don't believe like oh because someone's conservative or because someone's liberal that they're automatically a good pe good person because there's good people on both sides there's also bad people on both sides like political views just don't make you a decent human being like that just comes down to your actions and I feel like the people that I've seen who have who do place you know like morale their morals around someone's political views seem to be the most closed-minded seem to be like the least like, most, like, just aggressive and hateful sometimes people. Like, the ones who are like, oh, I can never do this or I can never do that. Um, but I know in general, politics are very divisive. So, it's like you can never please both sides. And I do remember someone saying, like, as a content creator, you shouldn't talk about politics because, you know... Pretty much, like, if you are stating your opinion on things, um, you're going to offend one side or the other. Like, someone's always, like, you you can never please both sides. So, like, they're like, keep it to yourself. And I guess I'm not following that because, you know what? I'm going to share my opinion. I don't care if people agree with me or don't agree with me, hate me, don't like me, whatever, because I voice my opinion. I'm not scared for someone. It's just, like... At least I can say why I don't believe something or why I don't agree with something. Like, even if you don't agree, at least I'm, like, just saying, like, okay, this is how I feel based off of what I see, what I know, or just how I think. But 
you know, I also understand, like, why a lot of content creators avoid it. But I feel like it's also gotten to a point where it's, like, even a content creator who tries to not talk about it, like, their followers be like, I why aren't you talking about this issue? Why aren't you, sub like, why aren't you saying you support this or that? And it's just, like, wanting everyone, like, needing to know people's views or opinions on every single issue because, you know, I can't support someone who doesn't agree with me and I can't support someone who doesn't see the world the same way I do is really just like, I mean, I think it says more about that person than the other people. Um, but at the end of the day, it's really no one's, like, you can't force people to agree with you. And if you want to live in a world where you're only surrounded by people who agree with you, that's just because you're not willing to challenge your own beliefs. And you just, like I said, it's a very closed-minded. Like, it's a closed-minded, but also it's like you are creating like a hostile it's very hostile too because you're like anyone who doesn't agree with me anyone who doesn't share my beliefs like is a bad person and like I don't want those people in my life it's like you're being hostile towards those people it's like one thing to be like okay I don't agree with you it's another thing to be like oh I can't be friends with you oh I can't follow you or I can't support you like it just creates more hostility and more divisiveness because you know you have one side that's like willing to be like okay we can just agree to disagree and then you have another side that's just like if you don't agree with me you're a horrible person <laughs> if you don't agree with me i you we can't be friends i can't follow you i can't support you like you see how it's like one side is being really spiteful and hateful and hostile and then the other side's just like okay agree to disagree like that's all I'm saying it's like if you can't it's like if you can't accept that there's people who don't agree with you and them not agreeing with you doesn't mean that they're a horrible person it just means they have a different perspective on things they have a different outlook I don't know what to tell you and I do have friends like that, too. And usually it's like I don't argue with people about politics because there's no point. Like everyone's going to have a different opinion. It's just like vote for who you support. Vote for who you like. I'm not trying to convince someone to do or not do anything. But again, it's like if someone's not going to is going to not support me because I don't support their candidate or because I don't um I don't know it's just like it is what it is but <laughs> yeah I feel like this that video and you know what I'm not gonna say it doesn't bother me that that people unfollow me follow me but it's just like oh like I would rather someone who supports me based off of like I don't know it's like, I don't like your opinion, basically. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I mean, I would rather people who support me regardless than someone who's like, oh, I'm only gonna, I can't follow her because she doesn't do this. I mean, and it was the same thing when I made that Starbucks video trying something from Starbucks and someone tried to make it a political thing. And I'm just like, dude, not everything has to be political. Like, I'm just trying to live and enjoy my life. Anyways, um, I haven't been able to sleep, so I just made this video. Tried to go back to sleep and really couldn't. And I have on my little alien sleep mask. I look very tired. Like, I don't really know how I'm going to get through work tomorrow because I also probably didn't 
you know, I don't remember what time I got into bed. Maybe around 11. And I woke up close to 4. So that's maybe 5 hours-ish of sleep if I'm not able to go back to sleep. Which it doesn't feel like I'm going to. I mean, it's already disruptive because the fact that I woke up before sleeping like a good 6-7 hours already kind of sets me up to not be doing good but i'm just gonna try to edit this vlog which is over three hours y'all i freaking talk too much and also i don't know i'm just like ugh. we're gonna try to edit this down as much as i can like i don't want to post a vlog that's over two hours so I either have to break it up or cut out a lot of stuff. And I don't know what I'm going to do. So yeah. Good night. Good morning. I don't know. I guess technically it's morning. But that's all I wanted to say.